Hi everyone, thank you for um, inviting me to this session. I'm very privileged to um, have been invited to be a part of this. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about a project that I'm leading, which is exploring the role of citizen science approaches in chronic disease prevention, which I'm aware is um, certainly different from, uh, you know, a lot of the areas that many of you are working in. So I hope that it's interesting. Um, I got really interested in citizen science approaches um, a few years ago as a, as a sort of way of engaging the public in thinking about what prevention can look like and what it is um, and what we can be doing to improve the places that we live, work and play. Um, so I'm aware that it's a really diverse audience, so I'm just going to start very briefly with what prevention is. So when I'm talking about prevention, um, I'm talking about chronic diseases, so including cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease, cancer, diabetes, um, all of which are a leading cause of ill health and premature death in Australia. Um, so as you'll very much probably be aware, the causes of chronic diseases are complex and varied, um, and they're influenced by a range of interconnected factors, including people's backgrounds, their environments, and their ability to make healthy choices. So chronic disease prevention requires intersectoral action on many levels to improve the environments in which we live, work, and play. Um, so, for example, chronic disease prevention might include actions such as regulating unhealthy advertising, improving walking and cycling infrastructure, improving access to healthy food, as well as information campaigns and programs to support individuals to be healthy. So this picture just represents the prevention system and all of the elements that make up prevention. Um, so why citizen science prevention? How do the two things come together? So engaging the public in research and decision making in chronic disease prevention is really crucial to being able to achieve equitable, feasible and acceptable solutions to the complex health challenges that we face um, in Australia and worldwide. Um, and many agencies are already grappling with how to best engage the public in meaningful ways. So for example, in Australia, many of our health promotion agencies at a state level and at the federal level are already making um, the public centre to what they do. So they call it different things. They call it consumer engagement, consumer centred um, work. They call it, um, you know, a whole range of things, but essentially it's putting the public at the centre of decision making. Uh, but they're grappling with how to do that in meaningful ways. Um, and in recent years, system science has really been gaining traction in public health due to its potential to provide new information um, and new perspectives on problems and solutions, to monitor program and policy implementation, um, to obtain difficult to access data at a community level, um, and to mobilise support for action. So to help people to see the issues that are causing ill health and to take action against those. Um, but much of the work in the citizen science and health space has really been driven by researchers. Um, and there's not a lot that's known about how policy and practice stakeholders in this space in prevention perceive system science approaches and whether and how they value data collected through these approaches by community members, um, to what extent they can be used by stakeholders to address the needs of their organisations um, and what resources and support they need um, to utilise system science approaches with their, within their organisations. So, the project that we're conducting really sort of grew out of this um, desire to understand um, and explore the feasibility and impact of stakeholder-led citizen science approaches in prevention, um, and with a focus on understanding the perceptions and needs of policy and practice stakeholders, um, but also incorporating the perspectives of community members as well and understanding why do people engage in citizen science for prevention. So, you know, as Maggie just mentioned in her talk, you know, a real passion for wildlife can be a driver for why people um, might take part in citizen science projects around conservation. But for prevention, we're less sure of the, the motivators and the drivers for why people would be involved. Um, so as you can see in the diagram here, it's a, it's a complex project. It's a three year project with a number of components. Um, but at the core of this are in-depth case study evaluations of four stakeholder led system science projects in prevention that are being led by our policy and practice partners. So we've partnered with um, Vic, Vic Health, with the Tasmanian Department of Health, with Wellbeing South Australia and with Southwestern Sydney Local Health District. And each of those organisations is um, leading a uh, citizen science projects that they um, have sort of put their hand up to want to be involved in evaluating as well. Um, and as part of this work, we are also um, working with these partners to provide support in developing and implementing those projects. Um, and the evaluation will help us to understand how 
these stakeholder led projects play out in practice, the barriers and facilitators to implementing these projects um, and of using the evidence that's generated and the impacts of these projects. Um, and that we're interested in impacts on policy and practice, on communities, on the ways that decisions are being made within their organisations. Um, in addition to those four projects that are being evaluated, we're also establishing a community of practice for citizen science in prevention. So I'm re really keen to kind of explore how that intersects with some of the community of practice within um, AXA as well. Um, and we've got a PhD student, Leah Marx, who's undertaken a PhD project to look at how citizen science approaches intersect with other approaches to public engagement in prevention and to look at perceptions of the role of citizen science um, and the needs of stakeholders more widely as well. Um, so through these case study evaluations and the other project components, we're really hoping to build familiarity with and capacity to use citizen science project um, approaches in policy and practice settings in prevention and to gain some practical and theoretical insights to inform the use of these citizen science approaches. Um, so we're really trying to sort of grow this as a, an approach that's being used within prevention and see where we can take this. So I'd be really grateful for comments, questions and people to contact me outside of this session as well. Thank you. Thanks very much, Samantha. Um, thanks for being a brave, the first brave lightning talk. <laughs> you did well. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, call the next speaker now, so we'll keep on time.